Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for all the Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It is the third week of September 2017, and the week begins from the 18th until the 24th. The week is the week of the um the fool and it's a week of new beginnings for a lot of people especially um i want to say thank you to each and every person that has remember me in their prayers um for the hurricane that has just passed over please remember um to give whatever you can donate whatever you can to these hurricane victims and all of that luckily i was um protected by the source of all things that's all I can say because um, the way the hurricane I just change afterwards and just turn from um, us here in West Farm it's amazing we only have branches on the road so I want to say um, thank you to each and every person that thought about me and the time of the hurricane and thank you for returning to my channel this week is a week of you leaving behind something for something much better whatever that is it's going to be a positive beginning because um, it's a week of uh, um, the fool and the energy of the week of the fool is that you're leaving something behind to bring something positive in existence okay so as we move on and we're looking forward we have the energy vibration of wonderful situation that is happening so let's look and see what are the messages are here for you Leo so um, the energies of this week it is you know the number six energy is here the number six energy is here the thought is also here the fool is here wheel of fortune is here Whatever the situation is, the number six is playing a significant role in your lives. The energy of the moon is also here, and we have the page of cups twice. So there is a significant situation that is happening in our lives. Okay, so let's see what is happening because we have the page of cups twice. Uh, the page of cups twice is, is is good because new love is coming in. Uh, the energy vibration, the crowning of the week is uh, heartbreak. So whatever it is is temperance. So and we have uh, um, the um, uh, king of wands and the queen of wands, the king of wands and the queen of wands. So obviously on Thursday there's a situation with family. Whatever is happening, you have victory and success. Good news is coming in for a lot of you. Um, the number nine, the number six, the number nine, and the number 11, number one, number six, and number nine. Number one, number six, and number nine is going to play a significant role in your life in this week. As we look on on Monday, we have a hair energy, and this air energy is that a lot of people will be having a lot of new beginnings. Be aware of these new beginnings that you're going on. A lot of people are going to have the energy of the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles came up in your week twice. It is also here on Tuesday with the Wheel of Fortune. So again, for you people who um, buy the lottery, will buy the lottery. This is a positive energy. Um, this energy of the fool is going on a new journey. You need to understand where you are at this time and how is it possible to move forward um, money is going to be available to you whatever the situation is your financial situation is going to be changed and you're going to go on a new positive journey whatever this financial situation is bringing in for you guys it's going to be wonderful because what is happening is that changes are coming so whatever you were thinking changes are coming good news is coming in and changes are coming so let's look at Tuesday we have the earth energy and we have the nine of Pentacles which means a lot of money will be coming in and this can be a big win from a lottery a winning of a lottery you could be buying the numbers whatever it is this is going to be something that you gamble and you are going to win big big time is something that you have gamble and you're going to win like big time this is something that you weren't expecting to happen this is a week of luck for a lot of you people so whatever is happening you're leaving something behind and this is a week of a lot of luck a lot of situation that will be happening wonderful luck wonderful situation um, the wheel of fortune is coming in with a nine of Pentacles and this is going to be good okay so 
let's go forward and let's look at this we have for crowning your week the three of of of, of uh, swords the three of swords so there is an art break that is going to take place whatever this art break is for you Leah's whatever the situation is because this week is crowned in with art breaks whatever the situation is you have to deal with temperance you have to have temperance to deal with the situation so whatever the situation is and was you need temperance to deal with the situation it's an art break and um, whatever is playing out you need temperance to deal with the situation so it's going to be a positive positive one it's going to be something that is going to be energetically vibrating to your energy vibration and whatever this heartbreak is you need temperance to deal with it and it's absolutely no problem as we move forward we have the energy of the queen and this is you um Leo so you women are you know going to be affected by the heartbreak so you Leo women are going to really be affected by this heartbreak in this week whatever the situation is you also have the men so you Leo's the both men and women are going to be affected by the heartbreak in this week and it's going to somehow happen between Wednesday and Thursday okay um, the other message that I should um, really give is that some people if your parents have a situation um, some um, disappointment is going to happen and there's going to be a heartbreak for some of you um, if you're a parent you could have disappointment with your kids disappointment in your kids and there is going to be a heartbreak whatever the situation is we have um, both you men and women are going to be suffering from heartbreak. Some people are going to be connecting with your spiritual family, your soul family, and you're going to be connecting on a high energy vibration. So whatever the situation is, you're going to be understanding how this is going to be turning out and how this is going to be working out. Um, some of you are going to be realizing that, um, life is about to change dramatically for you guys life is about to change dramatically for you guys and then you are going to realize that you yourself some people are going to find out that they're pregnant some people are going to be uh, frantic some people are going to have miscarriage I'm sorry but some people are going to find out that they have miscarried some people are going emotions and uh, um hormones are going to be so out of balance um, people who are lying about their pregnant and that sort of a thing it's going to come back and bite you in the butt okay so sometimes you know um, people have kids and uh, um, the men leave before the kids were born and that sort of a thing look at yourself because there is a situation that you need to deal with you know this is especially for some of, of the women out there because there's a situation that is happening and you need to look at it because if you have had a child and before the child was born or after the child was born the father left you there is a reason why okay there's a karmatic situation that you need to heal most people think that they can use kids um, to hold on to someone but that's not how it works okay as we look forward we're looking at the men and the men are going to feel a sort of art break um, in whatever way it is you're going to feel as if you're losing something and you don't want to lose that thing so whatever is happening you need to be aware of the situations around you okay so okay so we're looking at Friday and Friday is a day of the six of cups the six of cups is always connecting always connecting with people from your past life um, people from your soul family it's always a connection they're not your immediate family but yet still your soul family or your past life 
whatever is happening is that there are information that is coming in and this is coming in from the spirit world so it could be people who have crossed over to the spirit world is sending you messages on um, Friday and this is very good so whatever the situation is whatever is really happening about around you you're going to see how this is going to be um, a positive positive uh, situation and how you're going to realize how wonderful and how beautiful this is going to be um, because whenever we have uh, the energy of a connection it is always good because what is happening for us is that we're connecting yet with our spirit family but yet still it's 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 wonderful because you have twice a six you have twice the six of cups and as I have said it, this has been happening just spontaneous because uh, since I've start doing double double reading energies um, this has been happening this is the second time um, well this is uh, you know this has been really happening that on the same day the same energy the six of cups twice came up this is the first time the six of cups have come up twice so um, there's a lot of doubles in this week we have a twice the page so there is new love coming in I see new babies or being born also I see new connections um, new love is coming in um, there is connection via your intuition that is going to send you um, positive new love in your life so okay we have the energy vibration of the six of cup and the six of cups is a beautiful energy because it is here twice so you have a connection of the hurtly form which is this one and you have the um, connection of uh, your soul family from the spiritual realm to, which is the intergalactic and families and all these universal beams that are coming in to connect so Friday is going to be a very good connection if you're looking for soulmate soul uh, mate relationship and all the things um, it's going to come in because you're going to meet people from your own soul group and from lifetime and lifetime before that you came in together to change um, situation whatever is happening you have the six of swords you're moving away from something and this could be moving away on a new journey away from um, and this is a very young energy. It's, it could be a miss, yeah, a miss cramp, uh, and a, yeah, someone has a miss cramp. Um, someone lose a baby in a in a young form. Um, so this is what I'm receiving with this. Um, it's not a good message to give, but yeah, because there's a heartbreak that is centered over your week because Monday and Tuesday is all about the money. And um, the center of your week is the three of swords and there's a heartbreak and there is a situation where um, it's as if uh, uh, someone has a miscramp something like that is happening because you see a movement you move in a way from something and you have this young love this baby so there is a loss of a baby and this could come in the form of uh, miscramps or um, losing a baby um so um this whatever is happening uh this is not really looking good for some of the ladies out there okay this is a situation of a loss of a baby and this is not really one of the most positive energy it could be the loss of new love also because you have or it breaks but i'm feeling on saturday the loss of a baby is as if uh, you have uh, you know um, you, 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 the baby comes out in, in the form new love is yet still going to come in your life because you're going to have the energy vibration of the hermit so whatever the situation is um, the page of cups is here and the page of cups are connecting you with your spirit guides you know they want you to look within they want you to find the true um, to start loving yourself to understand that you're looking for outside love but if you don't if there isn't a love of you loving yourself within then you are going to lose it so you need to understand that whatever is happening the energy of the hermit is here and this energy of the hermit is to help you to connect to see who you are okay so this is um, going to be good this is going to be positive whatever situation that is happening you're going to understand that um, you're going to be connecting with your spirit guides your guiding angels and they are going to help you to start loving yourself because obviously there's a self-love that is going on because for the women and um, 
the women and men, you have lost that zest. Uh, for the women and men, you have lost that zest. Whatever that zest was, you have lost that zest. And you need to find that zest again because you need to build on that. Because um, obviously there is a lost love. Um, new love is coming in, but you it's as if you lost um, a baby. Um, you had a miscarriage and you have lost a baby and uh, you need to start loving yourself again it's affecting a whole a lot of women and men so it's going to be something that you you and your partners the sum is that um, the men are going to realize that their women have lost a child and uh, sometimes the condition and in the condition how this child is brought into this world is not the right condition and the child will choose um, or the angels and guide will choose to um, take but this child okay so what you need to understand is that sometimes you have miscramping is because the situation the way how the child was conceived it wasn't in the right form um, it could be the right people but not yet still in the right form because if a child is conceived out of love um, and they need to bring in a sort of energy vibration then um, it's you're going to realize that it's not going to work out in your favor okay so they will um, release themselves um, from this um, earth energy uh, to come back in at a more pleasant time when there is love between two people so it's a funny week it's a week of uh, new love but yet still a week of uh, the winning of the lottery money connecting with soulmates uh, whoever and whatever it's the form of having um, you know miss miss cramp loss um, losing a child but yet still new love it's a week of some people learning to love themselves and I'm going to ask Archangel Michael what is it that is happening in a scent innocent 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 so let's look um, innocent and Archangel Michael is saying innocent dear God and angels thank you for helping me see that all of your uh, qualities of pure love and lights are reflected within me and all others help me to embrace my God-given innocence so that I may be at peace so whatever is happening here um there is something that is playing out and you're innocent whatever is happening is that you're innocent to a situation it says dear god and angels thank you for helping me see that all of your qualities of pure love and light are reflected within me and all others help me to embrace my god-given innocent so that i may be at peace so whatever is happening there is a situation where Archangel Michael is supporting you and letting you know that you're innocent in whatever it is you have um, supposed to cost or, or whatever is going on um, that you are innocent and obviously I can you know I, it's just so funny I can see things playing out because people like to blame other people for their own um, mistakes and they like to blame other people that other people seems to be a part of their lives so here we are we have Thor Thort is an ascendance master. Uh, Thort is the eye princess in the uh, the golden era of Atlantis. Led is to is tribe to South America to become the Inca civilization. And I should let you know that the Inca civilization was the first um, set of beams that has uh, ascended because a lot of people could not find them, and they ascended. They were the first one. Who has done this ascension so people like myself and other people that are very connected to Atlantis and all these um, old the Lemuria and Atlantis we have done this ascension process before and we came back we volunteer especially myself volunteer to come back to help humanity and this planet to ascend um, with much more people because this is this is what we're here to do is to bring back love and light so that we can all all ascend we don't want to leave anyone behind we want everyone to ascend on this planet okay so um, he thought um, that when every single aspect is in tune the whole is 
automatically in harmony your guidance is to bring all parts of your life and your body into alignment so that you enjoy perfect health and happiness imagine every cell of your body is part of an or uh, orchestra let your thoughts conduct a magnificent con um, concert for radiant well-being attune each area of your life uh, to a higher purpose uh, so that your life is a celebration my life my health are in perfect harmony so this is going to be a, a, a um, affirmation for this week my life and my help are in perfect harmony so again my life my health are in perfect harmony so whatever is going on and obviously there is going to be a lot of miscramp in this um, in this in this week because I'm seeing that my health and my wealth is in um, is it harmony so that means um, there's going to be a lot a lot a lot of miscramps that will be happening in this week for whatever reason um, I guess whatever the conditions are um, they are changing um, themselves okay so I want to say to each and every person thank you again for supporting me thank you for supporting my channels um, please like and share these videos and I am asking each and every person to thumbs up likes and share and I'll speak to you next week yeah.